Question 166. Imbalanced levels of sex hormones in males causing enlargement of breasts in males is termed hypoestrogenism, precocious puberty, gynecomastia, hypogonadism. Enlargement of breasts in males is seen in a condition called gynecomastia. And this results due to higher than required levels of estrogen in males. The correct answer here would be option number 3, gynecomastia. Option number 1, hypoestrogenism means lack of estrogen. Precocious puberty is early onset of puberty. Option number 4, hypogonadism can result when there is low levels of testosterone. So the right answer here is option number 3. Question 167. Hypersecretion of growth hormone since childhood causes pituitary dwarfism, Simon's disease, gigantism, acromegaly. When there is excess of growth hormone, depending upon at which age the excess is present, it has different effects. Here, the growth hormone is excess in childhood or since childhood. And when that is the case, it could result in gigantism. With the excess of growth hormone, there is an abnormal increase in length of long bones. And this could lead to very tall individuals. So, gigantism among the given options would be caused due to hypersecretion of growth hormone. Pituitary dwarfism is a result of lack of growth hormone since childhood, and in Simon's disease, atrophy of organs is seen. The internal organs like heart, liver, spleen undergo atrophy. And option number four, acromegaly. It results when there is excess of growth hormone in adults. The correct option here is option number 3, gigantism. Question 168. All of the following will act as second messengers except adenylyl cyclase, cyclic AMP, cyclic GMP, diacylglycerol. Second messengers are chemicals that are released when a hormone interacts with cell and common second messengers are cyclic AMP also called cyclic adenosine monophosphate calcium ions can also act as second messengers then cyclic GMP that is cyclic guanine monophosphate inositol diacylglycerol etc. So among the given options, option number 2, 3 and 4 are all second messengers. Adenylyl cyclase, also called as adenylate cyclase, it catalyzes the cyclization of ATP into cyclic AMP. And for this, the pyrophosphate has to be cleaved. The correct answer here is option 1, adenylyl cyclase because it is not a second messenger. Answer is 1. Question 169, hormones produced by endocrine glands of kidney include all except renin, relaxin, erythropoietin, calcitriol. Among the given options, renin, erythropoietin and calcitriol are released by endocrine portion of kidneys whereas option number 2, relaxin, Relaxin is secreted by placenta and it is secreted near the end of pregnancy during labor. It softens pubic symphysis during labor. 
So the right answer here is option number 2 because it is not produced by kidney. Answer is 2. Question 170. Hormone which can suppress immune system and show anti-inflammatory action in transplant recipient patients is epinephrine, cortisol, norepinephrine, aldosterone. We are looking for a hormone which can suppress the immune system and is anti-inflammatory in nature. And this is frequently used in transplant recipient patients. The transplant recipients are often administered cortisol or steroids. And these are given because cortisols or glucocorticoids inhibit white blood cells. And due to this, they also act as anti-inflammatory. And this is necessary to avoid graft or transplant rejection as they suppress our immune system against a foreign agent or a foreign object. So the right answer here is option number 2 cortisol whereas epinephrine and norepinephrine are catecholamines whereas aldosterone is required to maintain the electrolyte balance in our body. The correct answer is option number 2 cortisol.